turn right. Under the shade of a coolabar tree And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy bow You come the waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda You come the waltzing Matilda with me And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy bow You come the waltzing Track winding back to an old fashioned shack along the road to Gundagai. Where the blue gums are growing and the marum beach is flowing beneath that sunny sky. Where my mummy and daddy are waiting for me and the pals from my childhood once more I will see. Then no more will I roam when I'm heading straight for home along the road to Gundagai. Down came the jump up to drink and that billabong. Up jumped the swagman and grabbed him with glee. And he sang as he shot that jump back in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang. All right, Mike, an important award, uh, the Junior yeah. Sports Star of the Year. And you have the winner? Yes, the uh, Junior Sports Star of the Year, Lee Nuage. And Lee is actually in Melbourne. He's in our Channel 7 studio in Melbourne. He's over there playing in the Claxton Shield. Lee, congratulations, the Junior Sports Star of the Year award. How do you feel about that? Uh, excellent. I actually was told I was a nominee tonight, not the winner, so that's news to me right now. So you, came along, you came along as a nominee and you picked it up. Congratulations. I did, yeah. So this is the road from Sydney to the nation's capital, Canberra, and there's Terrell driving. He's got his hair all schmicked up. My hair's up, yeah. He thinks he needs a haircut. No, I think I need gel. But he thinks he needs a gel. So to the right we have hills, which will eventually become the snowy mountains as we go further down this highway. Then straight ahead we have a highway, and then to the left we have a big flat plain, which on the, mark is, on the map is called Lake George. So Australia does have a Lake George, but it's not really a lake. I think it's one of those things that occasionally fills up very often. But if it was full, it would be very, very pretty. So there's that. And over in the distance, we have Canberra, which I can't really say anything about because I don't know anything.
by 1974, this unique multicultural workforce had constructed one of the greatest civil engineering projects the world had ever seen. It helped shape Australia's cultural and economic landscape. In this cavernous underground power station, Tube 2, water has fallen 277 metres through over 5 kilometres of tunnels to perform a vital task, the generation of electricity. Sing. 